This LinkedIn creator is one of the most followed people on the platform. Today, Justin Welsh has more than 197,000 LinkedIn followers, 65,000 Twitter followers, and made multiple six figures through online courses. But this wasn't always the case. In 2019, Justin's social media content looked very different to the content he's publishing today. And it's only by writing every day and getting incrementally better and better that he's now at a place where he can publish LinkedIn content that generates tens of thousands of likes, saves, comments, and shares. And even though he's only started taking Twitter seriously this year, he's already managed to write the 43rd most saved Twitter thread of all time. So besides a daily writing practice and reading a ton of copywriting books, what else did Justin Welsh do to create amazing social media content that you can do too? Let me show you. One of the best ways to create great social media content is to study how the greats do it and replicate them. I said replicate, not copy. I set up a process to do this efficiently and effectively, and yes, this was taken directly from Justin, so thank you, Justin, for sharing this in one of your emails. The first thing that I did was I started following a curated list of writers on LinkedIn and Twitter. Now, these people aren't all copywriters or writers by trade. Some of them are email marketers, some of them are salespeople, but all of them understand how important it is to write and communicate well. That is integral to their success. Second, I installed the Chrome extension Tweemex to collate their best performing tweets of all time. On LinkedIn, this process is a little bit more manual. What I do is I keep an eye on the posts that go viral, and any time I see that one of their posts is doing really well, I hit that save button and I go back and reference it later. Next up, I study these viral tweets and LinkedIn posts to understand what made them do really well. I look at the structure, I look at the purpose, and then I will turn them into templates. Now I have a proven set of social media templates that I can use to whip up a week's worth of content. And the great news is, is that these these templates can be used for other social media platforms like Instagram. It's just that the content will look a little bit different. Here's a template that I originally created from a high performing LinkedIn post and I used it for Instagram. In this post here about the tools that I cannot live without after seven years as an Instagram strategist. Now remember, these templates are a replica of proven structures and copywriting laws, but what turns them from rigid formula into amazing piece of social media content is adding your unique insight and personal experiences. You know as well as I do that LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter is saturated with content. There's so much noise online about how to be a better insert job title, how to be more productive, how to read more, how to improve your relationship. And so it goes on and on and on. And so to ensure that your content doesn't get swallowed up in a sea of expertise, you want to include your personal insight and experiences as often as possible, because that's the stuff that cannot be Googled. And that's what makes content really, really interesting. This is something Justin Welsh does in impeccably well. He frequently talks about his former life as a salesperson and working at healthcare companies, and he talks candidly about how he got to where he is today, right down to the specifics of how he grows and runs his businesses. This kind of information cannot be found easily online because it's deeply personal, and most people are a bit uncomfortable about sharing their tricks of the trade, but that is what makes Justin stand out online. This is so important, and to use my own example, I could create a post about how to grow on Instagram, which would do well because that kind of subject matter always does well, but it will never do as well as me using my own personal insight to inform a piece of content, like I did with this post here, which was lessons I learned from three of my own viral Instagram reels. The reason it did so well is because you cannot find out that kind of information with a quick Google. That is unique to my experience, and that's why that post is one of my best performing Instagram posts of all time. I'll let you in on a secret. The day I created that high performing reels post, I was knee deep in an insight session. By which I mean, I was looking over the last six months of my Instagram analytics, looking at what worked, what didn't, and using that information to guide my upcoming two weeks worth of content. That's part of the system I follow. Every single Friday morning, I will sit down and plan two weeks worth of content. I'll have my insights open beside me so that I'm not wasting any energy trying to be original. Instead, I'm being smart and looking at what has resonated with my audience, what hasn't, and using that to guide my ideas. During that time, I will plan the ideas and I will start to outline the reels, the carousels, the text graphics, and then I will schedule time in my diary for the following week to actually create the content. So design the graphics in Canva, film the reels, and batch write all of the captions. For LinkedIn content, Justin Welsh follows his own system. Every Saturday, he will sit down and just write out the next week's worth of LinkedIn content. At this stage, he isn't worrying whether the grammar is as tight as it could be. He isn't worrying whether the structure is perfect, because that is for the next stage, the edit stage. 
page. During the edit, Justin goes through and polishes his LinkedIn posts until they are the clear, crisp, and compelling social media content that he has become really well known for. Every person has a different system depending on their personality type and the social media platform in question. And I really encourage you to practice and tweak and find a system that works for you and stick to it because it's systems and not spontaneity that makes great social media content happen. Speaking of not being spontaneous, one of the best pieces of advice I can give you about creating great social media content is one I've actually already mentioned, and it's about not being original. And Justin Welsh agrees with me on this point. You've seen this in practice with the templates, and the same rules apply for your best performing ideas. Repurpose them. If you had a post that did exceptionally well four months ago, look at how you can tweak it slightly and reshare it again. For example, a carousel post of mine about how to make content creation easy did really well. So I pulled it apart and I reshared it again as eight individual Instagram reels. If you notice that a video of yours does really well, like an Instagram reel, hone in on the structure, the style, the topic, and do more of that. Riding the wave of success and repurposing your best ideas doesn't make you a cheat. It makes you a savvy social media content creator. But while repurposing and being unoriginal is an important factor to success on social media, so too is experimenting in the right way. What do I mean by the right way? Well, there's a way of trying something new on your account that you know has worked for somebody else. For example, experimenting with a talking head Instagram reel rather than dancing around to a piece of trending audio might feel novel and experimental to you, but there's a high chance it will perform really well, even though not everybody's doing it, if it is short, has a compelling hook, has subtitles or explain a commentary, and has some kind of editing trick, like a transition or a different angle or some B-roll. If on the other hand, you create a 60 second talking head video that has no juicy hook, no subtitles or explainer text, and no B-roll transitions or angles, then that experiment is likely to flop because you're ignoring the fundamentals of engaging content. An example of a recent experiment I tried was with this text graphic here. It was an experiment because I haven't created a piece of content like this in a very long time. And with Instagram coming out recently and saying they're no longer just a photo sharing app and with everybody else saying that standalone static imagery is dead I thought that this might not work however because this graphic was bold the design was eye-catching and clear it really stood out in the feed among other colorful posts and it included unique personal insight this post did really, really well. If you want to learn how to stop making basic content mistakes that Justin Welsh would never dream of making, then you're definitely gonna to wanna to check out this video next. And don't forget, replicate the greats, don't reinvent the wheel, and find a content system that works for you.